Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm trying to remember to add that to the intro. If you have not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It would mean so very much to me. Today I have Ipsy Plus and I did not get this in October, but I have had all of my packages sent to my parents. If you're wondering why, you can watch this video right up here. But let's just get right into it. Um, don't forget to let me know your thoughts on these and whether you think this is worth it as a subscription or not. So we're gonna start with the July bag. So this is Wanderlust. It was actually really cute. It's kind of very plasticky. The little charm on it is an airplane, which is super cute as well. We're gonna pull out all of the items in here first. Um, so you can kind of get a good sense of what it is. The first thing in here is from Il Maquillage. This is a single shadow. It's a multi-dimensional eye color. And this is supposed to retail for $29, which seems absolutely crazy. It's this purple shade. I have so many single shadows and I never use them. I'm so tempted to open this and to swatch it because it looks pretty, but I also don't think it's a shade that I probably would wear a whole bunch. So I am gonna pass this along. I'm gonna stay strong because I don't need to have, to keep everything because I just, I have too many things. There's, there's too many things that I get every month and other people should enjoy them too. All right, then we have Salmon Vegini. I have no idea. Um, it is Duft and Doft. It is a hydroactive eye cream. It makes me wonder if it has, I mean, they didn't send a card, so I have no idea, but I kind of feeling like, does this have fish in it? That sounds very weird. I read the ingredients. It has salmon egg extract in it. I was gonna give this to my mom because she loves eye creams, but she would be super like freaked out about that salmon egg. Um, just like, when you know things are in there, like the snail or the salmon, like it just makes it a little less appealing, right? Um, so I'm gonna pass this one along. I'm gonna put this in my pass along pile too, just because I have so many eye creams that it's gonna take me at least 10 years to use up all that I have. Maybe not quite that long, but I don't need to add any more to my collection. And I've gotten some other ones that I'm more excited about using than this one. So that's the second item out of five that I will be passing along. Then we have, oh, and that eye cream retails for $27. So that's actually not too bad. Like this is a pretty big tube. It's almost an entire full out, so not too bad. All right, then we have this guy from Nature's Cartel. It is a shimmer lip gloss. You probably know my feelings on lip gloss at this point. Um, yeah, and that's not anything that's going to make me go, ooh, I, I'm going to add another lip gloss to my collection. Nope, don't need it, not something that I will use. This retails for $12, it's not a very expensive gloss either. Um, I did write down all of the prices of everything because they did not include anything. All right, then we have from Complex Culture, this is a brush, this is a contour and blush brush. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay, um, this is a weird shape. Not kind of what I was expect expecting. I mean, I guess I do see like if you contour, like you could do this really easily, but it would work as a blush. Okay, not, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's a, definitely something that I will use. Um, so yeah, that one I will be keeping. That's the first item out of the box that I'm keeping. And then the final, oh, that one retails for $35. And then the final item is from Tarte. This is the Surfer Curl Volumizing Mascara. I have very hit and miss uh, feelings with Tarte. Sometimes their mascaras work amazing. Sometimes they don't. This seems like a very large mascara. I don't know why, but it just seems larger than usual. This one retails for $23. So I will keep the mascara and the brush because I will at least try them. Well, the brush I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep and use and love. The mascara, not so much. Um, the gloss is something I know I won't use. The eye cream is something that I won't get around to probably before it, gets, it goes bad. And this eyeshadow, you know what? 
since this has been such like a lousy box, I'm going to open this eyeshadow. So it does pull open like that, which is kind of cute. And then this is what the shadow looks like and you open it and that's what it looks like. It's very heavy packaging. That's really like, it feels really cool. Um, it's like an interesting texture, not like cooling itself. Wow, this is really, this is like, the Tarte pots, if you've ever had some of those eyeshadows that are almost liquidy, but not quite. Um, yeah, that's really nice actually. So I'm excited. I'm glad that I decided to open that one. This was supposed to be $126 value. I don't think it's $126 worth of stuff, especially because I got, you know, quite a bit that I wasn't crazy about. Um, I would say four out of the five. I wasn't like super excited about two out of the five now I'm excited about after playing with that eyeshadow. All right, now we're moving on to August and August was the first month where they have the new thing where you, they choose two items for you and you get to choose three yourself. Um, we're gonna see what they came up with and whether I think it was, uh, they did good or not or if even my choices were good. I think I have add-ons in here too. Um, so the thing that they chose for me was this Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Game Changer. Now this is actually spot on for Ipsy. They chose really, really well because I already own this lipstick. This is the only shade I have in this entire line. And yeah, so I already have this one. I will be putting this in my declutter pile because I don't need another one. I wanted to quickly talk about this because I realized I glanced over it. This is an uh, interesting formula. I don't like it as much as the original liquid lipstick. It doesn't dry down. So if you want something that's not going to be a liquid matte lipstick, this is a good formula for you. It's going to be slightly, um, you're going to have like a satin look to it. It's not going to be super matte. It's not going to be a gloss by any means, but it is going to move around. It's going to not last a long time like a liquid lipstick would, but it does, it's kind of like that hybrid between a lip gloss and a lip liquid lipstick. So it's an okay formula. I wouldn't probably purchase more from this line. If I got another one, I would probably wear it, but yeah, just to give you a little bit more information on it. Uh, I already have it. Then this is the other item they chose for me. This is the Perfecting Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 from Murad. This is all right. This is something that will eventually get used. I, I hope that I can get it used before the expiration. It does expire in 2022, so that helps a lot. So this is something I will use, not something I'm like super excited about. This is the hydration line, which I'm oily. I don't really need the hydration line. There's other lines that I am more likely to use than hydration, but such is life. Next up were my choices. So I found that when I went on and my original choices, I wasn't too happy and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I wanna see what I'm getting in my ultimate the next day and make my choice from there. Especially because the one category had two items that I wanted. It had the Complex Culture Brush and it also had this. This is the Ciate London Watermelon Setting Powder. Um, and I couldn't choose which one I wanted because I wanted both. And I could only choose one because of how they have it set up. If you haven't seen it, they put your two up at the top and then you have a choice of like four or five for your first choice. You get to choose one. Then there's another four, that's your second choice. Then there's another four, that's your third choice. You can't mix and match between them, which is kind of frustrating because sometimes it's like, here's four of the same item and you have to choose which color you want or which is the least sucky and sometimes it's here's three eyeliners and a lip gloss choose what you want oh i don't want any of those things those are like eyeliners are on my opt-out list like i'm not supposed to ever get eyeliner i'm not ever supposed to get mascara obviously that doesn't work so this is the it's really cute and it does smell like watermelon uh like a very light watermelon scent. So I am happy with this one because that was my choice and that was something I actually wanted. I did end up with the brush. If you haven't watched my Ipsy Ultimate, it will be linked right up here. Then my other choice was, I thought, oh man, it's three 
or four mascaras, but this was actually a brow gel. This is the clear brow gel from Wander Beauty. Clear brow gel is something that I occasionally use. I don't use it on a regular basis. It's not an everyday thing, um, but it was something that I would use more than an eyeliner or um, a mascara or a lip gloss. So I did pick up that one. It's, it's okay. I'm not like super thrilled with it or anything, but I'm okay with it. What I'm most excited about is actually this. This was my first choice. This is the Venice Fling Bailey Sarian. I'm not sure who that is. An estate. It is an eyeshadow palette. And I have been waiting for this because I've seen reviews of it. And it looks so awesome. And it's huge. Like these, it's a big palette. And it's really big um, pans. I'm really excited to try it. Um just oh, it looks so pretty but you looks like you can get like some beautiful neutral looks with it which is something that honestly I've been doing a lot more neutral or colorful but color neutral type looks kind of like what I'm wearing today pretty good um little bit of fallout not too much that gold is really pretty it picks up the light really well so definitely most excited about that from the box I didn't tell you prices about any of these things um, so the palette retails for $30 which I don't think is too bad the Murad retails for $58 that's that seems like a lot the gel uh, brow gel retails for 22 the powder retails for 28. You're just seeing everything in my backyard now. And the lip retails for 20. So altogether, this month's bag was worth $152, which is actually pretty darn good because um, some of the months have not been that good. I think this one was definitely worth it. It had enough choices for me that I was happy with it. I don't know if I told you the total back in July, it was 126. Now, if you don't know, the Ipsy Plus is supposed to be $125 or more, and then there's a certain amount for Ultimate 2, which I will talk about whenever I get Ultimate again, because I've had i I've had boxes that are under the guaranteed value. And I don't know what to do about it because they're both September. I did two add-ons in August as well. I did the Peach Iced Tea Body Cream by Bubble Tea that just sounded really, really nice. And then a Balance Me Congested Skin Serum because my skin is congested and I need some help in that area for sure. So I added those on, those were both $30, or not $30, $3, oh my gosh, inflating things. All right, then we have my September bag. Now, September, I did the same thing that I did in August where I looked at what was offered and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna come back because my choices had changed a little bit. Um, in August, I thought, you know, I wanna see what else they come up with. So I did that. I came back, you know, a couple times the first day, a couple times the second day, you have a two day window to do it. And there wasn't anything that I wanted. There was like one item I wanted, but I did not want anything else in the other two categories. If you don't choose all three items you can't choose any items and I was like okay shoot what am I gonna do I can't remember what the two items were that they picked for me but the two items that they picked for me did not end up being sent to me in my bag which I thought was really interesting that when I didn't choose anything they completely threw out my bag and did something completely new and random um, I haven't shown you the bags really. So September is just this like corduroy. It feels super cheap. I this is something that like I really want lined or something. It just it feels it feels really cheap. Like something you would get at Walmart for Christmas and you know, something that's a disposable that you would only use one Christmas. That's just my thoughts. Anyway, what I got in my bag for September, I got this Wonder Beauty Highline Liquid Eyeliner, not something I would use. This retails for $22, so that one is automatically getting passed along. Then I got this guy, which is an Ofra Lip Gloss, which is in the shade Natural. It's very pretty, but again, so many lip glosses, never gonna get through them all, so 
I'm gonna pass that one along too instead of opening it. That retails for $15. Then I got this palette from Space Case. This is one that I almost redeemed points for the month before because I had so many points expiring and I actually, I think I lost some of my points because there's just been nothing really interesting in the point shop on Ipsy and then when there is, they're gone. And then they just sit there and say, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. And then they send you the same stinking things that you redeemed for points for. You, they will send you them again in, in the month, next month. I hate that when they do that. Um, I've seen so many cases of that. So I got this palette. It is four shades. They're, they are all shimmers. I'm leaving the protective wrap on them because meh, meh. That is my thoughts on this palette. It's not practical because it's all shimmers. It's not exciting because it's all like neutral, bland, almost the same colors. Like there's really not, there's not a lot of, variety i mean you have like three t shades of taupe basically um so yeah passing this one along because not something that i could see myself using like the other palette that i got in the previous month that retails for 32 dollars. i would not pay 32 dollars for that i think that's ridiculous all right then i got another eye cream two months no, two, two out of three with an eye cream. I'm getting sick of eye creams. This is the Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. Sounds pretty nice. We'll eventually get around to using it. At least it doesn't have salmon egg in it. Um, this retails for $24.50. Fine, whatever. The thing I am most excited about is a beauty blender. They sent me a beauty blender and this is in like the new packaging. I still have like the old packaging where like it's, a very light plastic. This is a much nicer plastic. So I have backups of beauty blenders. I have like a year's worth of beauty blenders because I always buy the four packs when they go on sale. Um, but this is one that I know I will actually use and it's retails for $20. So at least I kind of feel like I got my box worth because I paid full price for this and I got the eye cream for $5. Um, but yeah, very disappointing. This is why I skipped October. I didn't see any spoilers in October that made me like excited to get the plus box. I am getting it in November because I paused my ultimate and I couldn't pause both of them because then I would lose a whole lot of points that are redeemed for an item that I already had, but I was just trying to use up some points and it'll be a gift. Anyway, this box was worth $113.50, which is like $11.50 less than the guaranteed value. So what are your thoughts on that? I'm a little ticked once I figured that out. I was disappointed. Um, Ipsy I think is going to be on the chopping block. Kind of what I want to do is redeem all of my points because I have like thousands of points at this point. Um, and then once I've redeemed them, just go back down to my regular old one and just let it be because Ipsy Plus used to be so good and such a favorite, but I haven't been feeling it lately. Let me know what you have been getting in your Ipsy bags, if they've been good, if they've been better than mine. If you think mine were good, let me know that too. Maybe I'm just spoiled. Um, let me know down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.